All right. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Mission Impact Series with Tracy D. Allen and Ty Boone. And today we are on part four of From Impact to Inspiration. And in today's session, we're going to be talking about impact, investment, investing, and social enterprises, right? So in this segment, we're going to talk about, we're going to explore the roles of impact investment for nonprofits and social enterprises. Um, this includes discussing what impact investment is and how it works, examining the impact of impact investment on social change and sharing examples of success impact investment um, initiatives. Um, and we could also talk about leveraging impact investments to scale your social impact business for long-term sustainability. So <laughs> again, if this is your first time watching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I am the owner of a impact impact management group where I help where I help social impact businesses. It's been a long day. Where I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can live the lifestyle that they desire. So um, while they impact their communities. That's what she is. This is I'm Taboo. I'm owner of Taboo Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Sometimes without headache and hassle. Sometimes I get the headache and they get the hassle or the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do. Right? And we keep forgetting to tell them about your um your YouTube page. Oh, oh, uh, what is it? Oh, Capacity Central on YouTube. If y'all want to follow me, that's that's where I am. Yeah. Like, okay, so I'm drawing a mental blank. But yes, this social enterprise thing has has mm -hmm. gotten hot, like like hot potatoes, right? It's great. Everybody in there, <laughs> fresh out the oven. <laughs> it is bread fresh you know, out the oven. It's fresh out. I mean, with, without the oven, it's just every and everybody is everybody who I think is um saying they have social enterprises do not no, um don't. because i think that maybe they're they're not forming them correctly and they have the wrong idea behind it so i'm mm -hmm. glad we're doing this this talk about impact best investors investments because nobody wants to pay you to live your best life that's your business right <laughs> like no, like that's your, you're like it, it, nobody's trying a whole bunch of money to do what you got to your kids to set up your legacy but if you're doing something that is in support of a social cause, if it's something that actually supports the community and the environment, other people will buy into it mm -hmm. because they see that, hey, what you're doing actually makes a difference. I like, um, you know, I always talk about the guy who, the, the Tom's guy. Like, that's my, that's like one of the first times. That's where you go I've to. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. That's my goal. Um, you know, you, you buy a pair of shoes and then the pair of shoes goes over the, in, I don't know, India, Indonesia, somewhere he sends these mm -hmm. shoes to. Um, they make a profit, but somebody gets somebody gets the shoes. So the whole whole model of that is that you, you give us you you pay for something. So we do get to profit, but then we give something. And it's not just because of it's something, but because there's a need, because kids there don't have shoes. So that's why we have to do that. I think that's by I want a lot of people are coming. Buy one, get one. I think what people mm -hmm. confuse themselves with is that, huh, oh, you know what? I'm just going to create this business and I'm going to say that it's, that it's a social um, impact or that we're doing something social. I'm trying to dig in. I'm trying to figure out what's the social impact behind. Mm -hmm. And I can't find it. No, because it's, not, it's, there. About, it's not there. It's not there. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm going to go down my little spiel because social enterprises is my area of expertise, right? And this is what I tell people all the time. It is like owning two businesses. You are a for-profit business. I think huh? I don't want to interrupt you, but I think recording. It says network. It says recording error. Do you see that? No. Oh, well, maybe it's me. It's just recording. Error. Please reconnect and try. Hmm. Okay. I'm sorry. And maybe get a problem on your end. So if you don't get the link, just let me know and I will, um, I'll send it. 
I do see like the. I'm sorry, I messed up the line. That's okay. <laughs> You'll just have to um, thing it out. I do see my Wi-Fi right. thing popping up at the top where the number is. Connection is fairly good. Okay, it says connection is fairly good. All right. All right. So social impact businesses is one is the um, so social enterprises is the area that I really specialize in, and. Um, one of the things I tell people all the time when they're looking to start social enterprises, which are for-profit businesses that have a social impact, is that it's almost like running two businesses at the same time, because you're going to have your for-profit business that's going to make boundless money, right? Um, but you also have another part of your business that has a social cause hopefully related to the same business that you're um, you're running, because if it's not, then it just makes it harder for you to run a successful business, right? That you are going to have a social mission that you are going to carry out. Now that you can carry out that social mission within your organization. So like Wavy Parker, Warby, Warby Parker, or Tom's, so where you buy one, get one, right? So buy one, give one, I should say or you are going to partner with a nonprofit organization to carry out that portion of your social mission. Your social mission portion of your business, if it's not embedded into your nonprofit, which is the best way to do it, is to embed, I'm sorry, if it's not embedded into your for-profit, which is the best way to do it, right? And should be done that way. That portion of your business should be open to the same scrutiny like a nonprofit organization, which means that if you're soliciting funds or you're saying that if you make $100, you're going to give $10 to the social cost portion of your business, that portion should be um, open to the public to see. You should be giving an annual report so that people know exactly what your social impact was for your social enterprise. You don't have to open up the books for your for-profit portion, but you do need to open up the books for the social enterprise slashish non-profitish. <laughs> That's not a word, but you know, that that portion of the business that kind of operates like a nonprofit. So if you are a consultant, <laughs> If you're a consultant and you're doing the buy one, give one, so that means you're doing some pro bono work, right? I need to know. So you're kind of opening up your business because you the only way you're, we're going to know that you did pro bono work is because we know that you got 10 clients, right? So you have to be able to say, I got 10 clients and I, I that paid me and 10 clients that I did pro bono work for. Right. If you're a T-shirt company and you're saying that, you know, you're going to be able to help provide T-shirt to baseball teams. So maybe that's what you do. You're in the sports um, paraphernalia business. So you're going to be doing all this work over here. But we also need to see that you supported Little League teams with all of their sportswear because that's what you said you're going to do. So you have to show that social proof. It can't just be something that you say just because, right? It ha We have to see that you are actually carrying out your mm -hmm. mission. It's not something private and personal that you keep to yourself. And I think a lot of people tend to do that. Um, and it just makes for distrust. Mm -hmm within the industry. It makes it harder for people to understand the dynamics of how a social enterprise works and to believe people when they say that they're a social enterprise. So like we know that you can start a social enterprise by starting an L3C mm -hmm. or you can start a um, benefit corporation. Not every state has either of these, um, these entity statuses that you can actually start. But you can start a social enterprise as an LLC. You just have to identify yourself as a social enterprise. Those other two that I talked about identifies you as a social enterprise already. But if you don't have either of those in your state, you can start an LLC. And then you can, when you're representing your business online, um, in person, you can say, I am a social enterprise. You people are going to ask you what a social enterprise is because a lot of people don't know. And then you need to tell them exactly what your business model is and how your social enterprise 
creates impact within the community that you serve. Whatever the cause is, whatever the mission is, you need to be able to articulate articulate mm -hmm. that clearly, and you need to be able to tell them the impact. We talked about impact for four sessions now, the impact that you're creating. Ty? Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't, um, I'm just cutting off. Like we talked about uh, impact. No impact is dynamic. Remember, <laughs> the last few weeks, you should know what impact is. Right? Um, and like you said, Tracy, I, I think that it's about the communication behind it. You know, what is a social um, enterprise or a social impact business? Am I actually doing something supporting a social cause or am I just trying to? Think I'm gonna get more money because I say I'm socially right. There are a lot of people out there like that. Like, am I? Can I get a grant just because I'm saying I'm okay? Can you show me proof? Everything still goes back to proof, which is why you wanna make sure that your your records are you know compliance and you're keeping clear documentation of okay, I I I I, I sold to, I gave I go gave to away those kind of things. What the value of those things are. Um, and, and not just be out here doing it and saying it. I'm just I'm just saying I'm a social enterprise so that people can think I'm giving um, to a social cause when you're when you're not. I mean, you have folk all over the world who support social causes. Um, you're maybe to to have your foundation be a for profit business because it totally makes sense. Um, and a lot of these people who are going in with the whole I own a nonprofit thing should probably do social enterprise. Uh, type businesses because you own a social enterprise um, and then you just support a social cause. So think about what you're getting in, into before you even jump into saying, hey, I want to start a nonprofit if what you really want to do is you know, enterprise business. Yes, exactly. And that's a good, um, okay. and that's one of the reasons mm -hmm. I decided to niche down and specialize in social enterprises was because I constantly, when I did ex almost exclusively nonprofit consulting, I found that a lot of the people who came to me for nonprofit consulting really should not have been starting nonprofit organizations. And I tried to steer them away from it as much as possible. I said, you want to own something, you want to make limitless amounts of money, you need to be a for-profit business. You can still have your social cause, but you need to start a, a social uh, for-profit. But the reason why most people navigate or gravitate towards nonprofit organizations, it's the lure of a grant. That's really the difference between people wanting to start a social mm -hmm. enterprise and people wanting to start nonprofits is, oh, but can I get a grant? That's always a question that I get is, can I get a grant? Yes, you can. There are tons of grants out here for business owners, but just like nonprofits, you have to have data. You have to show impact. You have to show all of these things. Most of the grants that are out here for business owners are not being given to business owners that don't have a social impact. So social enterprises are on the rise, but you have to set up your business model mm -hmm. effectively so that you look like a true social enterprise and people are not looking at you with the bombastic side eye, right? Wondering what is going on. Like something, you know, like something doesn't, something isn't right with the buttermilk. It's kind of spoiled. You don't want people looking at you like that. And that's what happens to a lot of social enterprises. They get that. I don't know, right? And you, to avoid all of that, you need to make sure you get with an expert and set up your social enterprise correctly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. That's it. That's all. So remember to use your mission to positively impact your community. I can't say that enough because your mission can be used to hurt your community as well. So use it to positively, positively impact. impact. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>